Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Shop with Russ. Glad you were able to join us tonight. Uh, I hope I got the good evening. Let's uh, welcome to the show because the live little button just popped up over there in the corner. So maybe I got that out. If not, I'll say it again. Good evening, and welcome to the show. Let's talk shop with Russ. So, but anyway. Uh, uh, plan on a good show tonight. We're going to talk about glue. Uh, I think some of the guys out there brought some of the glue that they use in their shop, and uh, I just happen to have a lot of glue that I use in my shop. So I brought out my, some of my arsenal of a lot of things that are in here. So we'll go over that. And uh, first, though, I got a couple of things that I want to talk about real quick. Oh, and also, um, I glued up a few things, and we're going to try to glue a few things and do a little experimenting tonight on the show also, see how things hold up. So I glued up a few things before the show started to let them sit. But uh, Last week, for those of you who watched and were aware, we had my uh, sponsor, Frank, from Devobal Technologies on. And great show, fantastic uh, time. Donna Presley won the uh, website, the free website. Well, after the show was over, we usually sit around and talk for a while or chat for a while. And uh, we did that again uh, last Saturday. So there was myself, uh, Donna Presley stayed over, uh, Shane and Shelly were in the chat. Uh, uh, let me unlock this off of me. So. Uh, Shane and Shelly, you can unmute yourselves right at the second. Uh, John Schaffner was there, and I think it was Donald Matthews, wasn't it, if I'm all right? Yeah, he was there. Yeah. So Shane and Shelly, Donald and John and myself were all talking to Frank, and uh, Donna was there. Donna, naturally her mic wasn't working, but uh, I'm saying all that to say this. So we were talking about websites, and Shane and Shelly doesn't have a website. John doesn't have a website. I think Donald does. Uh, have one, but anyway, he looked up and says, "Oh, y'all don't have a website." And like John, you don't have a website. And he goes, "Well, I tell you what, all of y'all that stayed over to talk to me, he gave Shane and Shelley, John Schaffner, and and when I say Shane and Shelley, Shelley's got her own website. Shane's got his own website. He gave John Schaffner a website, and he also gave Donald Matthews a website. So, that is awesome. Thank you very much. His name is Frank, correct? Yeah, Frank Condon. Good, good, good on you, Frank. Um, that's very admirable. So he gave all of them a website. So I w it just like blew me away. Trust me. Um, he had talked about a while uh, earlier, and I'd mentioned this before about he was willing to give somebody on the on the panel uh, a website, and I told him I could not choose between all of my friends. It's just no way I could choose. Uh, I had thought about it and came up with a way. I mean, it just, I can't do it. I mean, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, and it would be unfair at all, you guys. So I had thought about doing it, that everybody that was on the panel, or usually in all my regulars, uh, like Russ Meadows and Dave and everybody, put all y'all's names in a hat and draw one out, and then whoever won that got the free website. But that just fell off to the side that we never discussed that anymore. Uh, any, nothing was ever brought up, so... Just out of the blue for him to do that, it, I would just like that Shane and Shelly, John, if you would like to say anything. Well, yeah, I, I, he said that, and uh, I damn near fell out of my chair. <laughs> like, I mean, that's quite a package, and it's a lot of lot of hard work for these guys to design up a website to our specs. You know, as years ago, I built a website for myself, and that was a lot of work back then. And with all the modern technology and all that stuff, I'm sure it's even more work now to get a deluxe package like they're offering. I mean, and free lifetime hosting is like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Frank. I do appreciate it very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank makes, you very much, Frank. Makes me wish I hadn't slept through the dang show because I need <laughs> help with mine. <laughs> So anyway, that, thank you, Frank. Uh, I know that they're all happy, and I'm just tickled to death. Uh, yeah. Donna, not, Donna not only got one, but uh, so that's Donna, Shane, Shelley, mm -hmm. uh, Donald, and John. So that's five websites that were given away last Saturday night. So wow. Well, it's a shame I had to cut out early to go into a CNC show, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. yeah, he's uh, 
I tell you what, from the day I met the guy, uh, mm-hmm. I've always been impressed. He's a very nice guy, a very uh, giving and caring guy, and obviously he is because of, mm-hmm. of that. So, again, thank you, Frank. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Ross, on, you, on YouTube, they're comparing <laughs> him to Oprah. They're like, you get a website. You get a website. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the audience. Yeah. Uh, that was that, and then mm-hmm. let me talk about my sponsors, <laughs> the Mobile Technologies website, Divine De- Design Development and Hosting. Visit devobile.com. Mm-hmm. Olivewood 2000 for beautiful, elegant, holy land. Olivewood, go visit Olivewood 2000 on eBay today. And FastCap, innovative products for the for the professional woodworker. Visit FastCap.com. So I think I got all that stuff out of the way. That being said, let's go down the list. We're going to be kind of like in a hurry tonight to get everything done that I want to get done. Uh, So let's go down the list and introduce ourselves. Let's start on my left, which is Charles. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I don't have any material tonight, so I'm just going to say I'm Charles Deering. (laughs) Uh, You can go to woodenvisions.com, look for the link section. You can find all my, uh, what you call it, social media links there. Uh, but I believe, I don't know if I mentioned YouTube or not in there, so it I go by Charles Daring Scroll on YouTube. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. Dave Gatton. Thank you, Russ. Uh, my name is Dave Gatton. You can find me on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff uh, under Dave Gatton. Uh, John, John Schaffner. Yep, that would Soon be you'll be able to say, and I have a website. <laughs> yes, I will. Uh, you, right now you can find me on YouTube under my name and Facebook under my same name. And yes, soon a new website. I'm loving it. Thank you again, Frank. <laughs> Thank you, Russ, for, for putting this whole thing together. I mean, we you're couldn't, welcome. we couldn't, you know, we can't do it without you, you know. You're, just, you. you're a phenomenal guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Having I'm having a blast, enjoying what I'm doing, and uh, I do it for y'all and for the uh, people watching. So, uh, next in line is Patrick from Patrick's Workshop. Hi guys, um, Patrick from Patrick's Workshop. You can find me on YouTube and the social media is under the same name. Thanks for having me on tonight, Russ. You're welcome, uh, Russ. Yeah, everybody, uh, Russ Meadows here. You can find me uh, on Facebook under that name and also my Facebook page without the website. Uh, Rusty Nails. Great. And then uh, Shane and Shelly. Hi, everybody. Shelly Cole here from Know What Mom Knows. And soon I'll have a website that's under Know What Mom Knows, so be looking for that. Um, I haven't been able to put much up lately because of some things dealing with my injury. So, but I hope to get caught up on my uh, YouTube channel here in the near future. And hi, everybody. My name is Shane. I'm with Shane's Hobby Shop. You can find me on all your Instagram, YouTube, social media under Shane's Hobby Shop. And soon to be coming, it's under construction right now, Shane'sHobbyShop.com, my website. <laughs> That's awesome. That is really great. I want to right. add in yeah. too here, guys. Uh, Shane's birthday was yesterday. I don't know how old he is, but he's getting to be an old fart. But happy birthday, buddy! Thank you. It's actually it's today's today. my birthday, and oh, I yeah. am forty-six. Forty-six. My and birthday. My birthday was Tuesday, and I'm twenty-one. Twenty-one. And I wanted to quickly say happy birthday, Shane, my wonderful husband. And I didn't get a chance to say thank you to you, Russell, for putting the whole giveaway together and having Frank on your show. And Frank, thank you so much for the for the giveaway of the the website. That really means a lot to me. I've sold my wares all over the United States without a website, and it was very hard. Our YouTube, and I tell you what, having a website will change my life. Thank you very, yeah. very much. Thank you, Russell. Fun. Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, hey, he gets all the credit. Uh, <laughs> he contacted me. I didn't even contact him. He sent me an wow. email introducing himself and uh, said he watched the show and watched my YouTube channel and thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, it went from there. So. And happy birthday to you, Russell. Thank Russell. you. Thank you. <laughs> If y'all seen my, I got some uh, Facebook. If y'all, yeah. uh, they're on Facebook. I put a couple of uh, 
Facebook vids, videos yeah. out that I thought were pretty yeah, I saw cool. that. That was funny. I like that. That was great. <laughs> so I had a good time. All right, let's get down to glue. I have an arsenal here that I use in my shop and actually have, a, I think, some more, but this is all I could get in the box that I have sitting over here and get in here and uh, some of the things I use. But um, glue, as my good friend Dave Gatton put it this afternoon, is a sticky subject. <laughs> so we're going to talk about it and what we use around the shop. Um, through, I will, I'll start off just a little bit first. We'll let everybody else t show what they use. But uh, uh, probably about three or four of my are, are things here is that I use quite a bit more than any others. Uh, I use uh, for wood, most of my woodworking projects. I use tight bond too. I love it. Uh, I've had very little to none problem, uh, no problems with it. Works very well. I've used tight bond too on projects outside that stay in the weather all the time in Florida sun, heat, and rain, um, and it's held up. So. The new one on the block is, and I have, I, I glued something up tonight with it for the first time, but I bought this today when I went to the store because I wanted to buy There's two glues I wanted to try and buy, and uh, the other one is here tonight too. Yeah, but I bought some Type Bond 3 today to try it. So, uh, Patrick, I'll get with Patrick. He was telling me a little a couple of things he heard about Type Bond 3. And then the other one is Alling's Tacky Glue. This is a great glue for uh, all kind of projects. Uh, it will hold wood. Uh, it does real great for photos on wood, uh, things like that. The other one is my line of Fast Cap, which they are becoming the only. Uh, I mean, I've got some others that I'm weaning out as I use them up, but to the 2P10 glue and the accelerator. There's uh, this is I just brought this one in tonight that was thick, but they have a whole line are fastly becoming the only super glues I'm using in my. Hey shop. Russ. Yes. Everybody in the uh, chat is saying they can't see your desk. Uh, your camera is too high up, and the panel is actually covering up your desk. All right. If I, well, I'm going to have to stay seated then because if I if I stand up, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'll lower the um, I'll lower the camera. Give me a second, and then uh, I have to stay seated. <laughs> Have you got no pants on? <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. Charles, that's Charles Deering job. Oh, I got that. It's his birthday like, this week. <laughs> I, I inspired somebody. <laughs> it was his birthday this week. <laughs> mine's, mine's tomorrow. Is that why Shane's not getting up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that better? Much better, yeah. Thank you. All right, well, I'll have to stay seated for the most part. Otherwise, the top of my head will be chopped off. So anyway, uh, back to the Allen's Tacky Glue, that, that, and then the 2P10. Uh, the other one for all my scroll sauce work I use is the uh, 3M General Purpose 45. I spray the back of the paper, and then I, uh, here I can move my mouse pad, the mouse off of here for right now, and then stick it to the wood and then use a little mineral spirits and clean up. Uh, the only other ones that are really a mainstay that I would say I use more than any other thing is the um, epoxies. Uh, this one's almost empty. The uh, two-part epoxies where you got uh, two sides you squirt out. I use these to uh, glue all my, uh, can't think of it, the inserts into my pins. What is it called, Charles? Tubes. The tubes, yeah. The tubes into my blanks. I use the epoxy. My good friend, I was using super glue and I had problems. Uh, with them not wanting to stay, even after I let them sit for a while, and I roughed them up with sandpaper. Uh, my good friend, Mr. John Shafter, and I were talking one day on a, uh, on a chat, and he says, I had the same problem, change to epoxy, and you won't have any more problems. And I did, and I haven't had the first problem since I changed over to that. So John Shafter led me in that direction. So this is the one I've almost used up. This They go a long, long, long ways. I mean, um, what I usually do is put them on a paper plate, and I have I buy popsicle sticks at the craft store, and I mix it up and then spread it on there with my popsicle sticks and uh, put it in there. I just this one's getting low. Uh, I think this one's empty. I think I should have thrown it away. Anyway, I was working on this one, and the other day I bought a new one, so I would have it as a spare. So those are my mainstays. I have others here, but 
uh, let's go to the panel. And I think Charles said he brought uh, a glue that he uses a, a lot in his shop. Did you have a glue that you want to talk about real quick, Charles? Uh, I don't know what, what to really say about it, but it dries clear, and it's the same one you have sitting near you. It's, I use Eileen's Tacky Glue. And that's really only because I was given a bunch of this that I probably need to invest in some tight bond. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Eileen's is really all they have on hand besides uh, CA glue for pins and such. But uh, it, it works, and it dries clear, so that, that's one benefit. It holds, uh, yeah, Aileen's or Aileen's, I don't know how you want to pronounce it, but I've used it for a lot of stuff. This was one of the only glues that I found that would hold people when we were doing scroll saw projects had painted their backers and was trying to stick it, and uh, most glues will not hold painted projects to the back as a backer once you put paint. Aileen's would. That was one of the only glues that I found that would do that. Right, Charles? Yeah, you yes, sir. Paint? <laughs> I, I had to unmute myself. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one that I, uh, or, I mean, he's another one that told me that same thing. Uh, Dave, did you have a glue that you use a lot in your shop that you brought, or want to talk about one? I use uh, pretty much the two you've got sitting there right next to you, both those tight bonds, and also the uh, red one, which I, I guess, what is that, tight bond one, I think, the the red That's bottle. Original, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tight uh, bond. I used to use the Elmer's wood glue, and I had some problems with it a few times, and uh, switched over to the tight bond. And once I made that, my dad was an Elmer's glue uh, user. That's all. Matter of fact, I don't think tight bond was back when my dad was using wood glue. So, I well, I know that uh, each kind of tight bond is for a different purpose. Or yes. I, I don't remember what that what those are, it, unless I missed it when you said it. Uh, well, tight bond two is for what is water resistant interior exterior the red bottle which uh, the original which was what Dave was talking about I don't have it with me uh, that is for interior use only uh, great for wood and it holds up great it just don't not good for outdoors and then they came along with tight bond three which is supposed to be the Mac daddy of them all and uh, it uh, is for waterproof indoors and outdoors also I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Matter of fact, uh, let's go to Patrick real quick. Patrick, uh, you were talking about that earlier. What is the difference between the two of them? I believe they're identical in their uh, formula, but they're a little bit different on uh, how long the, the open time is before they harden up and stick. So the Type on 3, I've always gotten about seven, 7 minutes of open time to move projects around. Type on 2 and 1, it's pretty quick. Once you stick it, it's, it's on there, so... Pretty much what I'm thinking. Now I do know my friend uh, Steve French uh, for uh, Brian's uh, Summers Woodworking's uh, Birdhouse Challenge last year built a, a stick birdhouse and he used tight bond three and there were some pretty big gaps. I saw the birdhouse in person uh, and there's some pretty big gaps there that he filled with this tight bond uh, uh, three. So I was pretty amazed at that. And I think I don't know. I haven't tried it yet and I haven't read. I'm not. I don't know if this dries clear or not. Uh, I know the uh, the birdhouse that he put together it uh, it had a brownish tint to the Type Bond three. So that's one of the things I was going to say about that because uh, I've got Type Bond two and three, and I I mainly use the Elmers. I hardly ever use the Type Bond because uh, the first I I think it was two if I remember right, it dried yellow. And and uh, I couldn't have that, so I, I scraped all that off, and you uh, know, and, uh, and I was able to make the project work. But uh, I went back to doing the uh, with the Elmers because it dries clear. And uh, I think I want to say the uh, the Type Bond Three uh, does dry clear. One of the two of them does. I can't remember which one it does, but uh, I've had no problems with the Elmers glue. Not no a, problems not at a, all. Type Bond Three. All right. Go ahead. I, I, Donna Presley was saying she used Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Wood Glue, but I thought Gorilla Glue was known for foaming up, but she said not the kind she got. So does, am I wrong about the, is the kind that foams up not wood glue? They have several different kinds of glue. They even have, uh, well, they have a, a two-part epoxy. That's Gorilla Glue. They have a, their own brand of super glue. They have a wood glue 
that is uh, like the kite bonds or whatever that is strictly wood glue and it's non-foaming or it's non-expand expanding whatever you want to call it foaming expanding it does the same thing but uh, they have that one and then they have the expanding which is a polyurethane I think glue that expands that crap is not even my shot I'm sorry uh, I had so many problems I tried it I had so many problems with it now there are other glues I've tried I haven't had problems with I tried their super glue but that foaming stuff is supposed to be you know kinda like fills wide gap helps fills gaps or whatever and glues and uh, had I mean it made a mess for number one uh, you get that crap on your fingers and you can't really get it off I had to use yep. like lacquer thinner yeah from a consumer standpoint I can't see why the foaming stuff is even still being sold. It's I've supposed, never heard a good story about it. It's supposed to fill gaps. That I mean, it shows like you can glue a piece of wood to a brick, and it's supposed to uh, that bond make that bond between the wood and the brick and foam and fill up the little gaps in between. Uh, I mean, Donald uses it on uh, pen tubes uh, and uh, cleans it off, and he's never had a pen failure on any of his two. Uh, oh, and by the way, give a shout out to Donald just in case he's able to watch us tonight on his phone. Uh, Don, the reason Donald's not here, and I just want to say that real quick, I was going to do it earlier and forgot. Um, he had lightning struck his internet connection, his cable modem, and also came in and wiped out his computer, so he has no laptop. So Yeah, he, he's been in the chat, so he is able to access okay, his... Well, Donald, I miss you, my friend, my buddy. Uh, but uh, supposedly he's got a... Um, his brother's sending him a laptop, and he's going to get his internet and everything fixed. So hopefully he'll be back up soon. But he wasn't able to be here tonight. That's the only reason Donald isn't here. So other than that, but uh, I was, I was by the, for his haircut. Yeah. yeah. By, <laughs> by the way, uh, Russ, uh, Shade Tree C and C. I can't remember his name. Forgive me, sir. Uh, said Steve Ramsey used Type Bond three on a table outside, and it turned black. So that could be somebody. You know, something worth noting. Yeah, I've heard, like I said, I've heard some things about that, and Steve French's uh, birdhouse, and it wasn't even outside. Uh, he, it was made for outside, but at the time he made it, and sh I saw it, and he brought it to the our, our wood cl working club here uh, locally. Uh, it turned, uh, glue turned a brownish color, so I did not like that. So, mm -hmm. uh, John Schaffner, do you got what kind of glue to use? In your uh, basically, the tight bonds. I I don't use Type On 2. I do use the red one, the Type On 1, and the green Type On 3 for outside stuff. And the epoxies. And I've, I've been using, trying to get used to using some super glue for pen finishing. And I tried to Gorilla Glue uh, to glue up my. I, I did a segmented blank with uh, aluminum can in it. And. As per my video, the, the blank flew apart, so it didn't hold up very well for that. So, therefore, I did go back to using epoxy for my pen blanks. But I have since uh, acquired a 2P10 kit with uh, from FastCap, and it has like four different clues in it, plus a demonder, plus the accelerator, plus the little spray bottle, and some tips. And, all that stuff and for for thirty dollar bill you get quite a, quite the bang for a buck. Um, the, he's talking about the two P ten kit from FastCap. That's what yes. I have. I purchased, yep. and I'm gonna tell you it. Like I said, it is fastly for thirty bucks. You get this kit. You get three or four or five viscosities. The accelerator. The kit's empty because there, there's nothing in it right now. This is just for a prop. Uh, but you get three or four, five different viscosities. You get the accelerator, the uh, cleaner, some tips, and all that other kind of stuff. For 30 bucks, it's a jam-up kit. So, uh, real quick, before we get to, and I'll get with y'all, Shane and Shelly, and uh, uh, I think I talked, did, we did talk to Russ, but let's, uh, I've been wanting to try this, uh, this DAP Rapid Fuse. So, while we're sitting here talking, do I have to cut the top on this stupid thing? Nope, I don't have to cut the top on it, so cool. Let's try. I want some, I don't want end grain, I want some side grain. I don't want to give it. I bought a little box in here with some cutoffs I made up. They're different sizes, but I believe they work. Can I have another one that size? Ah, 
Well, it, you don't have to put them uh, glue on both sides or just one side or what? It says, according to the directions, and I read them, said you only have to do, use sparingly and you only have to put it on one side and it will set in um, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we got to get it on here now. If we don't, we'll run out of time. So let me put... And that's, it's another, our, that's another long-standing uh, controversy is glue on one side, glue on two sides. Yeah, it is. If you put enough oh, glue on, you ain't got to glue but one side, trust that, me. Yeah, that's, that's my personal feeling. I Toys and glue. The only time that I would say two sides, and I got a little tip for you. If you are doing gluing, whoo, almost got my fingers stuck into that. And I didn't bring any acetone or anything in here, too, so do the rest of the night with them like this. Um, only thing that I will say that I would say that yes, two sides. If you're doing end grains or you're doing something like, uh, and I did bring some in here, particle, some chips of particle board. Um, but on the end grain, um, it sucks up a lot of glue, a lot more than what uh, normally would. So what I do a lot of times is one of two things, either put extra glue in there that I know is going to take care of the uh, situation, or I will actually, if i got enough time, I will prime the sides with uh, take a little bit of water and glue and paint them on the ends of the end grain, let them sit for like 30, 45 minutes. Now, like I said, this is I'm not in a hurry or anything. Then come back and glue them and stick them together. That priming of the end grains will make an end. You won't get that. It'll break the wood. It'll tear it all apart. That being said, I have done it with just lots of glue, and it worked great too. So, But this is that DAP uh, rapid fusion. I think we got 30 minutes before the show ends uh, that I've been wanting to try. Everybody's talking about this is the woodworking glue. Um, supposed to be like a super glue for woodworking. Uh, so this one's set up here. We're going to leave this one here. I did, uh, uh, well, let's go ahead. Uh, Russ, did you tell us what kind of glue you used? The uh, Elmer's, I think you told us. Right. Patrick did. So it was Shane and Shelly. That was the next ones. Uh, me, uh, I have used a two-part epoxy before, but my main uh, go-to glue is a tight bond too. But mom, she used a bunch of different things. <laughs> Yeah, well, I oops, I didn't know we could have labels on our glue tonight, so I took the label off. But I, <laughs> I see. Have it on there. I, don't I, I don't know what kind of glue that is. I don't know what kind of glue that is. Uh, this is regular everyday school glue. Um, yes. Elmer's. That's. <laughs> I took the label off, but anyway, I use it because, and I'll be putting up some videos when I can get to it because my life. Anywho. I'm going to show you what I can do. This is some veneer, sawdust veneer that I make myself, and I'll be doing some videos, posting them up, and I make a pleex. I think the word is a pleex. Let's yep. hold on here. <laughs> well, here's some birdies. Birdie a pleex, and they look really cool when you glue oh, wow, this to your awesome. project. And I'm going to show how to do that. And um, this is a rough draft. Keep in mind, it looks pretty ugly right now. And it's a ring made out of sawdust. And it's not, this is not like the sawdust from my other videos. This is more premium. It's like 90% sawdust. And I'm going to show everybody how to do that. So I'm excited about it. And I use Elmer's glue. I don't use the wood glue because for me, Elmer's glue for sawdust works better than wood glue. Just my thought on it. I'm open to other people if they want to do their own experiments, but hopefully they'll we'll have a whole kind of conversation on my channel about it when I post those videos. But yeah, I am a little bit behind on my videos, everybody. I'm sorry about that. This has been a very tough couple of months with my leg. Sorry, but yeah, I use Elmer's, my favorite glue. What do you use, Shane? What did you say? Yeah, I just use a tight bond too. Yeah. I have used a two-part epoxy before, but my main thing is tight bond too. I this think I go buy some more. You say that, and it's funny as I bought a bunch of these pin kits, and this is just regular old Elmer's. It's craft glue, but I found out it was it's the uh, school glue, just like you've got. Yeah. As long as you don't subject them to water or exterior, uh, they hold up. Yeah, I, I for years yes. I used summer school glue on wood, and it <laughs> holds up fine. Now, if you put it out in the rain or the weather, then no, it's not going to. Mm -hmm. In hey, fact, Kelly, yeah. 
Oh yes. Uh, James is James, as in JP Woodwork, Jamie, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Play. He's talking about using glow-in-the-dark powder. Oh, yes, and he gave me that idea a while ago, and I don't have any of that, but he gave me the idea, and I love it because I think that would be really cool to have glow-in-the-dark sawdust projects. So hopefully I can get some and incorporate that because that's an excellent idea. Excellent. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. Uh, let's... Real quick, we'll talk about a few more glues. First off, this is, to me is about the worthless piece of glue uh, on the planet, this liquid nails. I've used it before. Uh, I've had nothing but problems with it. Uh, it doesn't hold. The only time I have ever used it that it was successful was we did a floor. Uh, I went in to do a repair. Uh, I met up, a guy had to have some floor replaced in a mobile home. And the guy come in and replaced it, and it squeaked heck and back. So he hired me to come in, and what we had to do was rip all the floor up. And what I did was got this was back before I had a lot of problems with this, but I used liquid nails to put on top of every one of the floor joists and then reset the plywood down, and he nailed it, and I used screws. And no more squeaks whatsoever. And, uh, and it, I did a test on it, and it held good. But that's the only thing that I've ever found. Everything else I have ever found, it, it, it this just doesn't hold worth a flip. So um, the other one that I do like uh, uh, now, yeah, liquid. That's another liquid nails um, that I do like that worked great on a couple of my projects. Now these, the tubes naturally are applied by the caulking gun. For anybody that wants to know, I brought that in just to make show you. But you put put the tube in there, and that's how it's used. But is the uh, Loctite Power Grabber. Now this was uh, done on a commercial and they, actually the commercial is what caused me to go out and buy this stuff. Is where the guy's laying in an apartment and he hears somebody next door beating on the wall or beating on something and he walks over there and the guy's got a hammer nailing up paneling or something <laughs> on the wall and he reaches out, grabs his hammer, puts this stuff on it and sticks his hammer to the ceiling and then hands him a tube of this and walks out. And <laughs> yeah, that commercial made me go down and buy a, a tube of this. I wanted to try it out. I'm like, hey, that works pretty good. And I have to admit, I have used it on several projects, on several projects uh, uh, like on some two-by-fours and different things like that, on several other projects, and it worked great, and it held wonderful. Uh, it, uh, I don't remember... Because they were construction type projects, I don't remember if it dried clear or not, and I don't. It says instant glue interior. It's and it also is an interior construction adhesive, not an exterior. Uh, flawless dries clear. It does say on there. So, but I used it on a few projects, and I loved it. Fantastic. Uh, real quick, another one that uh, another old standby is the uh, hot glue gun. This is great for crafts. I have one. I use it a lot. I've actually uh, experimented with putting uh, putting like wood glue on some and leaving a little couple of areas and put a couple of little dabs of hot glue and sticking it together with clamps, waiting like five or ten minutes and then clamping it and using the project. That way the wood glue can kick in and hold it the rest of the way. Work great. So these things, are craft projects when you're putting together for Christmas and stuff like that, um, absolutely fantastic. Be careful. They will burn the crapola out of you. I've had it done. Um, <laughs> Uh, another one that we were talking about tonight, I think this is the, yeah, this is the islands, is contact cement. Uh, if you're putting any laminates on, uh, like Flamica on the countertop, uh, other things like that, Patrick, I think he uses it and has got it. Hey, Patrick, don't you have that can of commercial? And he uses it on wood flooring. They do, uh, he works for a flooring company. Uh, the thing about it is you have to follow the instructions. You have to coat each side the uh, table and you have to coat the back of the laminate. And then they have to become almost dry to the touch. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. You can put your hand on them, and, mm -hmm. and it doesn't act like it's sticky. And then you apply them together. But I will forewarn you, if you don't get them aligned correctly the first time, mm -hmm. forget it. It's over. Yeah. Once they stick together, you ain't yeah. Russell, I used to work in a bowling shoe factory, <laughs> and we used to use that same com um, compound cement. Is that what it's called? 
No, contact cement. Con contact cement. We used to use that, and it is so true. We used to uh, the soles of the sh of the, sh the soles. We had to put them into the shoe. We had to put glue on both sides, and I thought I was going to be kind of cocky when I first got the job there, and I thought, oh, who needs to put it on both sides? And I would just put it on the one side, and I put it down, and I thought, oh, it looks great. I had like ten shoes there, and I went through the line, and then this old lady went up to me, and she chewed me out. What'd you do? They're all popping up, and I go. I just trying to save time and she goes you didn't put it on both sides did you and I go no I'm just trying to save time she goes you can't save time you have to put it on both sides let it kind of get tacky and get the air to it and then it'll stick together so so true so true <laughs> yes. it's great stuff for all that kind of stuff yeah uh, let's talk uh, real quick but that's some of the stuff that I use in my shop uh, and I really like um, I haven't tried it yet. I bought this the other day. This is supposed to be the equivalent of the liquid nails. This is Loctite PL375 heavy duty. It's like a contactor's grade. It's supposed to be like liquid nails. I uh, haven't even opened the tube and tried it yet. I'm going to try that. The other one that I tried is several years ago, and this is a tube left over from it. I did a, a countertop and used the uh, Loctite PL530 for marble, mirror, and granite. Uh, that worked fantastic. Seemed like the Loctite worked part uh, brands worked real quick, great. A um, few things, uh, a squeegees you can buy them anywhere. I use I buy craft popsicle sticks. Uh, this is a uh, basting brush that you can get at Walmart or a dollar store or whatever for a buck or so. Now the basting brushes, the bristles, these are plastic, uh, the same neoprene or whatever that on your more expensive uh, glue brushes are and what they're real long so I just took a pair of scissors and cut them off so they're real you don't want them that long trust me made them real short but get you a basting brush for a buck or so cut the cut the things off real good and then with the glue you lay it down and forget you just peel this right off it will not bond to this same thing with this one this is a commercial grade that I bought it's got a little like a spatula on the end and the little brushes I've used foam brushes just throw them away I've uh, got this little kit here. Uh, haven't even used it yet. It's got uh, bristles for you to dip and do large surfaces. Uh, I've used toothbrushes to apply glue. Uh, this is a different, just a little bit different kind of a uh, applicator. Uh, these are um, little brushes you can buy for a, a, not a soldering for applying the, the uh, solder, the uh, acid for the solder. I buy these. Now, another problem with these is the bristles are way too long. You usually cut them off a lot shorter. But you can get a whole pack of these for a couple of bucks at Harbor Freight. Uh, this is an applicator for uh, biscuits. Put your glue in there and stick that in the hole and push it and it squirts the hole full of glue for your biscuits. I had this um, for a while and actually never used it. Always use a brush and squirt it in there. This is for um, it's actually a needle. Oops, that wasn't supposed to come off that way. There it goes. This is actually a needle, and this is for putting glue into cracks. You fill this up, and then uh, squirt it out a little time. This is a. It's not sharp. It's blunt, but it's for getting the glue down into a crack in the wood. Let's say you have a tabletop that's split. You can put it in there and get the glue in there. That's what this syringe is all. <laughs> You'll laugh. This is this is oil inside this thing. I haven't even used it for wood glue. It's got, I got oil in it, and I've used it as an oiler. But it's the same principle. You put your glue in here. It's got a little crook to it, so you can get down in there and uh, squirt your glue in a um, glue in a crack. And then I love, I love, I love my glue box. I have the big one and the little one, and uh, they're great. Right? They've got different appliques. This one is for like if you're doing the edge of a um, trying to go quick here. I don't know how much time we got. Twenty minutes. Eight forty. Uh, this is for you put this on the end here, and then what you can do is put it on like a the board and run it down the edge of the board and apply the glue. So naturally you won't get it on. Uh, that looks like about three quarters of an inch. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are all great. I love my glue bots. I use them all the time. Uh, like I said, I use the baby. Uh, for a long time, I used the baby more than I ever even used the big one, but now I've gotten more. I've used the big one more. A friend of mine, Steve French, 
and I think I've glued something up with it here tonight. I glued so many things up, I forget what I used. I think it's that one right there. Gave me some of these. This is uh, uh, the original super glue, future glue. Uh, I used the tube future glue here, but he had some extra glue and he gave me some packages of it to try. And uh, I think that's the one I glued over here. Should have. I was started to take a, uh, a um, pencil and write on them, and I didn't. I know that's tight bond. That's uh, tight bond two, and that one's been sitting for a while. That's Aline, so that has to be. Where's the rapid? The one in the clamp is the rapid. That's the rapid. Okay, yeah. that's the rapid. Oh man, I'm getting got your back, buddy. Got your back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the rapid. <laughs> now, this is tight bond, too. Uh, Dave was with me and Patrick was with me about 30 minutes before the show. I, you can, a lot of people like, it's got to sit overnight, it's got to sit overnight. If you want it to fully cure and you want it to be able to take the stress of normal, uh, that it can endure, in other words, that you'll break the wood before the glue goes, yes, it needs to sit overnight. But this was done before the um, show, so it's been sitting for about an hour as of right now. Um, and it, I mean, it is pretty doggone hard even after an hour. I've actually been in a hurry and put two pieces of like one by six together uh, because I, didn't, I needed to do something and run it through the planer and then scrolled it and uh, finished it and everything else, let it sit overnight and gave it to the customer and never have a problem. So uh, I glued this up about an hour ago and we're going to test this to see how strong it really is with only this is tight bond two and only been sitting for about an hour. I can't break it. Ramp. Stronger Ramp. than rust. Better get some pliers on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just wanted to see how I could physically break it within an hour. And uh, no, I can't physically come off. That would, I can't would physically like break off. it in an hour. So now we're going to try the uh, stress test. Maybe you should have ate your weenies this morning. <laughs> you should have. All right, I know I brought them in here. Where did I, where did I put them? I brought a hammer and uh, a small hammer. Ah. And a screwdriver. <laughs> so we're going to try the uh, my, my, bent, uh, my bar stool underneath me before I bust my butt. Um, Get this locked down because the last thing I want to do is get hit in the head. So this is tight bond two, only been sitting for about an hour. That's pretty doggone good if you ask me. I don't think that's gonna break. Yeah, that's pretty doggone. It actually is slipping out of my clamp to try to uh, try to break it. So, therefore, you have, you don't have to let it sit all night long. Um, I've got something here a little bit stronger. Hang on just a second. Put it so uh, clean in, bed in, order to, in order to uh, be able to use it, so to speak, uh, you know, yes, if you want the full curing capabilities of it to um, hold as strong as it can hold, and it needs to sit for 24 hours. I can get a lot more pressure on this clamp. But uh, after just an hour of sitting, I am totally, totally impressed. I've never tried. I know that, like I said, I know that I have put pieces together. I know I've run them through the planer. I know I've scrolled them, and I know I've finished them and sold them. And they've only been sitting for an hour. So oh, it finally broke. But... It broke the wood. Yep. So, after an hour. After an hour. So that just goes to show you how strong that stuff is even after an hour. So that was just one of the experiments I wanted to try tonight. Is that, is the that other one was the um, Alleen's. I'll let sit just a little, a little bit longer. We, I've got some Alleen's on this one, and both of these pieces are stained and finished pieces of wood. Uh, that I glued together with the Aline's tacky glue. Let them. Let's let them sit just for a little bit longer. 
Um, has it been 30 minutes since we did the rapid? Yeah, pretty close. This one? Yeah, it's a quarter till the hour right now. I don't remember when we did it. It ain't been 30 minutes. Maybe we better hold off to the end of the show to do that one. Um, this was with the tight bond uh, three. We need to let that one sit for a little bit longer. So, oh, I know the one I wanted to do. Um, let's see if I can. I don't want to use these. Get a nice soft, a nice piece. Diana Carpenter says, "Be careful, Russ." <laughs> Yeah, I was only thing I was worried about is that stupid thing flying off and hit me in the head. And I was wondering how many people were going, you ain't got your safety glasses on. All right, I think these are about the here, I'll try it with these two. So I'm gonna do it on the edge and they're smoother. Okay. Your uh two P ten. Great fantastic stuff. Uh so what you do is uh let me get a brush that oh I think I brought the go ahead and fall off I'll see if I care. So what you do is I'm using the thick. Uh, thicker medium has been the ones that I've tried on this and it's worked out pretty good, but you want to put a pretty good amount on it. And then spread it out. Uh, make sure I don't set that on my table. And on the other side, you want to spray the activator. And then you want to stick these two together. And make sure your fingers are well out of the way. Yeah. Just this, rub it on your fingers and then lick them. Yeah. <laughs> this has rapidly become the... Uh, I use I, all my pens. I finish with this. Uh, I use it for a lot. Anything I need to be stuck really quick, and it holds. Uh, it really does hold really that quick. Uh, I think you're supposed to hold it for like 15, 20 seconds. But it's their 2P10 from FastCap, their activator, and this was their thick. I've used the medium. You need to you, the least one that you need to use on something like this is the medium, or the thick, uh, or the gel. One of those three. Uh, you don't, and all I'm doing is putting hand pressure on this, by the way. So uh, I don't know if I could get, I don't know if there's any of that. Let me get my caulking gun out real quick. I threw it down here on the floor. If you have squeeze out on that, uh, how do you take care of that if it squeezes out? On what, this? Yeah, on the side. Let if it dry, you, it you can car scrape it or sand it or... Uh, I use a, it's clear, right? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Yeah. If you don't use too much, I didn't use too much. I didn't even got mine having uh, oozed out, so to speak. Uh, but uh, the other one in there, I'll see if there's any left in the tube, or if it hasn't dried up. I just grabbed this one at the last minute out there today. Let's see if it's still working. My George is still working. That's the uh, one I spoke so highly of a little bit here earlier. Um, let's do an end test. See how it's going to work. Now it worked. And I'm saying it worked. It was coming out, but now it's not wanting to come out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> This is an old tube. That's the reason it's given me, and I've used almost all of it out of it. That's the reason it's given me such a hassle. Hey, there is nothing wrong about being old. No, there's not. I think <laughs> I got too much on it. But, um, I wouldn't know anything about that. Basically, it's the same way. Now, this is water soluble, so I, it doesn't matter if I'm squeezing it with hand pressure. I've got a little thing that I was smart. I got a little thing of water over here and uh, a rag. I got several rags just in case I got in trouble. <laughs> but I didn't bring any acetone in or the uh, debonder from 
Um, so that was just hand pressure. Let that sit just for a few seconds. Now we're going to go over here. This is the uh, 2P10 glue. Just that quick. Yep, I can't break it. Now, I've Don't never tried it. this. Let's do a little shear test on it. I never tried this as a shear test. I know without a shadow of a doubt that the um, tight bond will work on, underneath the shear test if you let it dry longer. And that piece that I just showed you, uh, half only half of the, I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but half of the glue broke free clean and then half of it took a chunk of wood with it. So, and that was only after an hour. That's impressive for a glue that says you need to let it cure for 24 hours. So, let's do a shear test. I know this is not basically what you would say is a shear test, but let's see what it does. Broke out of my clamp. And this is the uh, Fast Cap 2P10. Just letting it sit that long. Oh. Now that broke through after that one. I hit it pretty hard. And it did the same thing as the um, Tight Bond. Uh, half of it broke clear, and the other half of it took the chunk of wood with it. I mean, that's pretty hard stress test on something sitting like that for that, me hitting it with a hammer like that. I don't think these glues were designed for that much stress, but I'm impressed. Uh, the other one is, uh, that didn't, that didn't hold worth a flip. We'll give it a little bit longer time. That was the uh, power grabber. We'll put some pressure on it and give it a little bit longer and see how it does. It held great on the projects that I used it on, but it was uh, stuff that I did. I glued it up. It stuck real quick, stayed in place. I didn't even have to put any screws or nail in it, and, but I did let it sit like overnight or whatever before I come back, and it wouldn't come off. So maybe that's pushing that one a little too too fast. Well, I'm, I'm anxious to see that rapid fuse. I'm really wanting to go to the store and spend more money on glue that I don't use. <laughs> Uh, with that one right there, has it been uh, 30? I need, we need to wait toward the end of the show. Well, we're right at the end of the show, so we only got like five or six more minutes. Well, it's time. let's see what it does. You don't have any leverage. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not impressed. Uh, Rush has got strong. That's all it was. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got the guns. Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> so I'm not as impressed with the rapid, uh, rapid fuse. So uh, you've seen the 2P10 and the Kite Bond within one hour, and that's supposed to do it within 30 minutes. And I know we let it sit 30 minutes. So. Uh, the other one that I wanted to do was, this is the Tight Bond th 3, but now this has, this is on particle board, um, yeah, this is on particle board and it hasn't been sitting an hour. I think that would go easy. But, yeah, I can't break it. This is Tight Bond 3. It's only been it's been sitting less than an hour, and it's on particle board. And then there's many people in the chat side saying happy birthday, Patrick. Thanks so much. <laughs> that ain't Not yet. bad. Yeah, that's tight bond three, and I'm hitting as hard as I, I mean, within reason. I'm putting dents in it, so that's tight bond three, and been sitting for a lot less than an hour. The uh, other one that I wanted to test, but now it, this one's not going to work because this one I usually let sit overnight. 
Uh, this was the Allings Tacky Glue. I stuck it on here just to see how it was going to work, and um, it's still white, and it dries clear, so there's no use to me even. Well, we'll pull it out and try it, but it's not going to hold that great because it's still... Well, I say that. Holy crap! Come on, Russ. You did it once before. Yeah, and Diane Carpenter says you should karate chop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> she goes, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> this is uh, stained and uh, a coat, a couple of coats of lacquer. This is off of a project I did and I cut up. You can actually see how thick the deep the stain goes down into that. Uh, so, And I've used Aline's on numerous occasions just for this reason that it was the only glue that I could find that would glue a, a finished product, a painted product together. Now it's... I, just out of, yeah, just out of curiosity, Russ, why don't you take a screwdriver that you got right there in front of you and put it on the joint line and, and try I to am, pry it apart with a screwdriver. I am. I'm, I'm setting that up right now. But the reason being is I don't want my hands anywhere near that screwdriver. <laughs> When it, if something lets go, would it get poked with it? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I was able to break doing that. But still, that's pretty impressive just to be there that long and and on a painted surface. And I have full confidence had that set overnight. Uh, it would have been great because I've done it before. I've never had any problems with it. But that's the Aline's Tacky Glue. Or Aileen's Aileen's, however you want to say it. Uh, I, have, I haven't, didn't have enough time to do a lot of other tests. We're only a one-hour show. Um, which one was, uh, oh, that one's still that, uh, this one never did break. That's Type Bond 3 for sitting, I don't think it was more than 30 or 45 minutes. Uh, it didn't break. Uh, tight bond two broke, but half and half again. And then the uh, 2P10 broke, but half pulled half the wood off of it. Uh, this is the um, yeah, that's that one. So I, I would, I personally would say that if you need a quick strong bond, if you would. You would have to go with the tight bonds or the 2P10, right? Yep. If you want a good strong bond, that's something that you can work with real quick. Yeah, that's that power grabber. Um, it hold. I mean, it feels pretty good, but then when you put a lot of pressure on it, uh, that's that Loctite power grabber that I like so much. Mm -hmm. I'll put some stuff together with, but uh, it it ain't doing too good. I would think that would take much longer cure time anyway. I, the ones I did left over was overnight, and it it bonded as good as uh, your tight bonds and stuff overnight. Uh, the 2P10 uh, with the accelerator, the tight bond 3, uh, the tight bond 2 uh, were the top uh, ones tonight. The uh, This one it had it set overnight. I guarantee you I would have not been able to get it apart that easy. It would have held. I've used it before. I trust it. Uh, naturally, I didn't do the epoxies. Uh, the epoxies are fantastic, trust me. They hold really good. I'm really not impressed with the DAP uh, rapid fuse because uh, it set for 30 minutes and um, it wasn't that hard to break. I have used uh, uh, super glues. I did not like them. The, uh, now, I've used them on pens and they work all right, but anytime I try to use a super glue on it, this was just your regular old super glue household type. It did not hold up really well as far as uh, that goes. And we're at the end of the time for our show. I hope that um, I never we never did get any questions, I guess, from uh, the... Well, from Donald, he says, when are you going to glue your hat to the ceiling and hang in there? <laughs> I don't know. Like they're doing the super glue test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the commercial. Yeah. Donald. Um, tried to make this very informative for you tonight, y'all y'all that ever watched and listened. 
Um, I use a lot of popsicle sticks for a lot of my stuff. Uh, you can buy big bags of them cheap. Um, that and this one. Well, these two main things for glue spreaders are the two main ones I use. Like I said, if you and I do it, trust me, I will put this thing down and forget about it and be on my way, come back the next day. And I've also used a uh, uh, for a glue spreader. If you got an old debit or credit card. Yes. Uh, they make they make great loose spreaders for large areas. In your uh, actually in the automotive section uh, is where I find them the best in Walmart or your automotive places where they sell uh, Bondo and stuff like that. You'll usually get two or three or four of them in a pack of different sizes. Uh, these are just plastic spreaders. They work great for that. Uh, I usually keep a bunch of them on hand. Uh, never this one I bought at one of the woodworking shows and I've never used it so uh, I know you said you use a toothbrush uh, yes, just make sure you don't use your wife's toothbrush kind of get yeah. a little mad about that. that that would be the first one I used before mine <laughs> so yeah but I have used a toothbrush if you take and apply a little heat with your heat gun to this you can bend this thing up it'll break if I try to bend it you can bend it up and it's really great for uh, getting into tight spaces, and I've used a lot of. I save all my old toothbrushes and uh, clean them real, you know, clean them up naturally. But yeah, you're supposed them. to use them for six or seven years at a time. Yeah, and uh, use them. I clean my fingers with them, get the grit out from underneath my fingernails. I use them for tons of stuff in the shop. So, guys, I hope that you have. I have showed you something that you haven't seen before. I yeah, that, um, a lot of fun. Yeah, lot, yeah. It worked out real good. Next week, I'm looking for someone. If you want to be the guest on the show and you have internet access in your shop, we would love to have you. If you don't, you can video what you are doing and put it on your computer, and then you can show it and talk us through how you did your project or whatever you did. Um, I'm looking for people. A lot of people I'm contacting, they're busy because of the summer which is coming to an end with their kids having their summer fun, which I, I understand. That's no big deal. I just want to try to get um, – I don't want to do it all. I want y'all out there, some of y'all out there, to uh, come in and show what you're doing. Um, so if you want to do that, let me know. Uh, send me an email to russ at simplywoodencreations.com. Uh, PM me or send me information on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, all those under Simply Wooden Creations. I'd love to have you. I'd love to have your videos. If I can't find anybody for next week, we are going back to the scroll saw. And uh, yeah, well, I've had a lot of people say that. I'm going to do some compound yeah. cutting. We're going back out into the old shop because I'm not bringing my scroll saw in here. And we're <laughs> going to go back up to the old shop, and I'll do some compound cutting for you, talk about the types of blades, how to make some... Uh, talk about how to make the patterns and uh, stuff like that. So we'll do that and show you what I, how to do. I do compound cutting. Um, thank you for being with me tonight. Um, running out of things to say. Anybody else got anything? No, I'm good. This was really educational. Okay, cool. I'm just glad everybody stuck around. Yep. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We're going to cut out of here. Uh, how many we got over there on in the chat, a lot of people. Oh, it's been. Yeah, we're looking at about 21 right now. Yep, uh, it's it's rocking down. They're tired, so I only got one more thing to say. Just give me sawdust, lots of sawdust, all around me and everywhere. I like it flying all around my shop and even in my beard and hair. Good night. God bless. Thank you for Good night, everybody. everybody here on YouTube. And thank you, Shane and Shelly and John. <laughs> See y'all later. It was fun. Night, y'all. Where's my, hold on. It'll be a second. I gotta walk. I gotta get my mouse pad and come way down over here. I, I can't even see. Oh, there it is. There's my bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>